and thrift store. It's full outfit tomorrow. George. This would have been perfect. I do have a stepping stool. Because everybody in Latvia is so tall. In Lithuania, so tall. They built their apartments to be so tall. And I'm not even like, I always say this. I'm 5'5", five five, if anybody wants to know. The cupboards are so high that they gotta give me a little stepping stool. Anyways, hello everybody. We are in Riga, Latvia. I need my coffee. That's better. Okay, how did I get here? Why are we here again? Melissa, how do you keep ending up in this co country? Um, honestly, I've been asking myself the same thing. How have I been in Latvia for three times in the last three years is just absurd to me. I just literally woke up. It's actually, I've been here for two weeks at this point, which I got so incredibly sick. I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice, but I have not done anything for the last week and a half. I was here for three days, my boyfriend had a game, and then I woke up the next morning and I've been sick for the last week. So I've been here for a week and a half and now this is the outcome. My hair though, okay wait, my hair is actually like starting to get super, I was gonna say super long, but considering you guys, I don't know if you guys can even notice throughout the videos, but, I started taking this magnesium citrate. I got this at Whole Foods. And I know this has made the difference in my hair because that's what people say online about hair growth is like, you gotta take magne magnesium, your hair will start to, dr to grow like weeds. It has like, even like yesterday I got on FaceTime, my mom like was like, whoa, your hair. I'm like, I know, I know. Like thicker too on top. So a little wellness. No wellness moment for you guys. Okay, so what is the situation? Well, my boyfriend's here playing basketball. I feel like I like kind of explained it, but I don't always explain. I don't know. I just feel like I forget sometimes to put in the video. The last video, I kind of, I had a vlog filmed at home explaining everything. And then I scrapped the vlog because just like time went by and I like hate putting on a vlog once it's been like sitting around for like a month. I'm like, okay, this is like old news old news but then i put up my thrification and i forgot to explain that i'm going to latvia because my boyfriend is playing here i'm not playing here i know that the first time if you guys have been keeping up with me the last few years the first time i came to latvia it was because i was playing and now he's here playing what this country this country honestly it's you know what a country is just not meant for you i think this is the country that is not meant for melissa but melissa keeps going to this country because the first time i got here i broke my foot the first time i got here like three years ago two years ago then the second time when i came back i got contact dermatitis and my eyes like swole up like this and like i was a mess and now this time i got deathly sick within the first like two days of being here and i'm like this country I don't know, I will be here for about two, three months, we'll see. We'll see because I'm. this weather is taking a toll on Mel. It is dark so early, it is so gloomy, and like, it's just kind of shitty here. I'm not gonna lie, like the winter. The country and Riga itself is beautiful. I have nothing against the culture, the country, like everything is gorgeous. It's just the weather at this time of year. Like, it is not the time to come to, to Latvia, to be honest. Like. Unless you're like a snowboard border or like you love the snow, don't come at this time. But we do have a gorgeous apartment. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. My closet is huge. I actually have three closets. We have a Tesla. Like things could be worse, but things could be better. Like I would love to not be in the snow. The thing is like I don't even want to drive the car because the roads are so shit. So I end up staying inside for most of the time. So I'm hoping if I vlog a little, it will kind of like get me to like 
leave the house and go explore different things. Don't get me wrong, I have been thrifting. When I started to get better and like before I, the first day I got here, like there's a thrift store across the street from us. I definitely went there and then I like took a week off when I was sick. I saw this like cough a little bit. I just sound a little congested, but I feel perfectly fine. But I also found a gym, so that's good. I'm starting to feel a little bit more normal. Like the first like few days to a week that I got here that I was sick, I was like, I hate it here, I wanna go home. Like I am just a disaster. Like. I am not happy. It was definitely like a culture shock moment. Like it's just a big change, you know? So I was definitely going through it for a bit, but I finally like feel a little bit better. My boyfriend is actually away for a few days because he has an away game, two games, two away games. So he has an away trip. So I'm here in the house by myself. So today we're actually gonna go thrifting. What are the odds? Let's go adventure. I have a nail appointment tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. These are actually just press-ons, but I have not got my nails done in like months. I think it's been like four months since I got my nails done, which has been good for the wallet. But I was really excited to get my nails done here because everything's a little cheaper here. So we're gonna do that and that's the vibe. So let's get this vlog going. voiceover is happening for the first few bits of this video because I was a little bit uncomfortable and I didn't want to get ahead of myself. So just bear with me because throughout the video I do improve and I start to actually talk in the thrift store. Go Mel. That takes a lot of courage in a foreign country. Okay guys? One of the first things that I saw was this Burberry bag but I didn't it didn't it didn't speak to me. Then I went back today and I actually found this pink one so I'm so happy that I ended up waiting out. I'm still loving metallic in terms of an accent piece. I feel like at the mall I've been seeing way too much metallic and the fast fashion industry has kind of turned me off of it just a little bit but then I see something like these and I'm like okay wait I actually love this and it would be so cute in an outfit. I wasn't overly impressed with the skirts at this location considering most of the thrift stores here have incredible skirts however the denim section definitely shockingly surprised me. Typically they have so many skinny jeans here. I guess it's the same at home but I feel like because they have smaller amounts it just looks like a surplus but I did find these amazing vintage H&M jeans. I love the zippers on the side and the stitching. They fit me so good you'll see in the try on because i'm building my wardrobe while i'm here i'm definitely just on the hunt for some basics so i picked up these black corduroy pants they were under two euros so that was a given they definitely have the best work pants over here like the nicest low rise early 2000s work pants over here i definitely stock up and they're always so cheap because they have so many while i was walking around i just see this rainbow pattern peeking out and honestly it's not something i'm completely gravitating toward recently however this one caught my eye i'm not sure there will ever be be a time that I'm not checking out a leopard print or an animal print piece especially if it's a coat it's the first thing that I gravitate toward the goal for this trip was to find a coat because I literally have my boyfriend's coat on as I'm shopping I didn't pack a coat I'm building my wardrobe while I'm here so finding an everyday coat was kind of the point of this overall trip the white coats were definitely intriguing to me and I was really thinking like all white snow bunny outfit but I had to be a little bit more realistic as soon as it starts snowing I just picture an all white outfit white boots white earmuffs, white coat, white scarf, white fur. I really should have got this fur vest, but I just continuously tell myself it will be the first of many that I see. And until I find the perfect one, I gotta keep looking. This ragged priest baby pink vested top was too perfect. And you know, she was a pretty penny. So I had to pick her up. I had to check out the denim jackets just in case I find something unique. I don't really need one because I did pack one of my favorites for this trip. That was one of my one things that I packed. And it is one of my favorites considering I got it in Lithuania and now it's in Latvia with me it's gone to Canada it's gone to the U.S. it's gone pretty much everywhere on my list of things to get are some long sleeves for layering and that slate gray and that white you know that caught my eye taffeta and me we go hand in hand any place anytime anywhere I was picturing this with a pair of red tights and some kitten heels but it was so cold and snowy outside that this was the last thing on my priority list I'm definitely going to be picking out some incredible things for a sexy ass euro depop drop eventually 
And I'm also doing some wholesale. So eventually I will be picking more of this stuff up. Couldn't tell if this was cute or if it kind of just looked like somebody's art project. Thought this would be perfect for a night out. I love a long top right now. This is kind of what I would have pictured to go to a Christmas party in, but I do not have a Christmas party to attend and this was a little bit too big. Definitely giving me Tumblr era vibes. Thrifting for myself is one of the hardest challenges, especially thrifting basics because I skip over them. I'm just looking for those unique pieces, but I really need some basics while I'm here. I did end up finding this little mechs long sleeve, probably one of the more expensive pieces here. I love the cow print. I will forever gravitate toward a little checkerboard moment. So I saw this and ended up picking up. I'm not even too sure I'm gonna implement this into my wardrobe. I feel like this is a little OG threads with the rainbow stripe, the checkerboard, and now the red and yellow. I did really like this polo shirt, but it was so expensive. Like, why was it seven euros? They also always have so many of these like Adidas or just like sport zip ups because it's just like such a Euro thing. Like the European guys wear them. I'm finding so many cool ones and they're so cheap here because there's so many of them. Fashion is so cool to me because there's certain brands that we overhype so much over in North America like Diesel which they have so much here in their thrift stores and like nobody wants. I'm not sure what kind of racing they do here but some type of motor racing of some sort sport happens here because they have so many racing jackets and racing boots and racing gear in their thrift. The men's leather coats also go so hard and so cheap like this was three euros. Three euros and 95 cents. I probably should have gotten this but I was kind of thinking every day a essential coat at the moment. I probably should have picked one of these up. I love me the running shoes here. They're always so fun. These were in the little girl section, a little bit too small. The sweater was almost perfect, but the neckline was throwing me off a little bit, but I love the back with the numbers and the orange and the gray. Oh my God. Oops. I also love this Lacoste red cardigan sweater. It actually is so cute. And looking at it now, I probably should have picked it up. I am home and I'm trying some stuff on. I got some really good things today. I couldn't show you guys everything because my hands got full. They don't have like carts. That's the one thing that I hate. But you guys remember that I showed you guys these little black, these little black cord corduroy pants and they fit me perfectly. I actually have such an eye for like finding a pair of pants that fit me perfectly now. These are so good and I love like the low rise like I didn't think that they were gonna fit like this But they do and they look so cute on and I'm so happy. I have a pair of black pants now. These also fit me so Good Are you kidding me? Look at that fit. Oh my god. I love these. I love this little mechs Shirt long sleeve. This was like one of the more expensive pieces, which is so funny But anything name brand seems to be like a little bit more expensive the vintage stuff. They're like no take it for free We don't want that but anything that's like name brand is a little more expensive But I just couldn't pass up on this. This is so fun Obviously, I don't even know if I've mentioned but I'm doing wholesale So this is some stuff that I've started to curate for some of my clients while I'm here so this is kind of what I'm doing here and we're gonna see what else what else we have? Here's that ragged priest fuzzy little vest. Oh my god, it's so cute! This look. Yes, mama, it's too bad it is literally negative 50 degrees outside. But like, this is such a cute look. I'm three for three for jeans fitting me. These are a little bit longer, but that's good for like if I have my boots on. I don't know. I like these a lot though. I do need to find like a wide leg pair, but I told myself what I tell myself. I told myself when like the Humana sale is like lower, I'll probably be able to f find some like better black pants and like next week. Next up, is this not just so cute? This is like str doing like a colorful stripe in the right way. Like I feel like there's a wrong way to do a colorful stripe. This is the right way to do it, and I am literally so obsessed. I think that I can even like put this down. Like I can wear this full outfit tomorrow. Like I just need a coat. I need a cute coat. I think I'm not gonna find like a cute coat right now in the sale, perhaps because I feel like that's like what people pick over first. So, and I'm also just being super picky because like I want to find the right type of coat. Next up. Again, are you kidding? 
this is literally the cutest little the cutest little thing ever oh my god i need to clean this mirror what is going on was that i feel like that's handprints when we're like putting on our shoes oh i love the little embroidery hearts and the color it's so cute okay here's the next top this is literally so sick and sexy and this is like totally my style right now like i love like the color and stuff but like living here in eastern european like this is just like dark and grungy and like this is just like the vibe i absolutely love this like i love how unique it is have not seen anything like it it's so cool like with my little red bag yes this is a yes okay next i like couldn't decide to get this but i just love this peak little detail there and i just love black and white like checkerboard so i got this little vest i feel like it could be cute style properly and i feel like checkerboard's like one of those like kind of pattern neutrals like the same way i feel about leopard so i feel like this can be so fun okay i i so badly need more hangers now because i got so many things this top is just like such a good little basic to have and it's just like giving like eastern european motorcycle i feel like that's the best way to describe so much of the style that you see especially in the men's side of the eastern of like the shops here it's like just like racer like it's very like race car motor jackets and everything like that but this is so cute i'm four for four with the pants fitting me perfectly these are giving i love the built-in buckle and the navy blue i also got this the other day which is so cute this is just a look in itself are you kidding me i love the textures and i love all the different i love like a little unique little fun different piece like so cute i'm obsessed had such a hectic morning but i'm going to get my nails done let's see what we can find to get done in latvia my nails are absolutely gorge she slayed look how good they are oh my god i'm obsessed afternoon it's literally always dark here so what time is it who knows but we're going to the thrift so let's go i went to an amazing cafe this morning called calv the coffee is 10 out of 10 everybody was telling me like you need to go to calv by the way i went to humana last night two dollars two euros two euros with my coat okay i need to focus such a huge variety of shoes. I will definitely make my way back to this thrift store, even though it was kind of in a little bit of a sketchy area. Don't tell anybody. My boyfriend's like, where are you? He like looks at my location. I'm like, um, I really couldn't tell you. We do what we got to do for a good old thrift find. I love a pop yellow in a running shoe. So I saw these and I was very tempted, but you guys always tell me these are volleyball shoes and it always turns me off. These red heels were also superb, but they were too small. They were size seven. I should have snagged them for my Depop, but I was just not in that mood. I was looking for myself, which I feel like rarely happens, but this is like a little inside scoopity doop of what I'm currently loving because I'm building my wardrobe as I'm here as I've said many times in this video. I saw this gorgeous Gorgina faux fur jacket. Actually I saw two of them but this white one definitely called my name and I was just thinking with these earmuffs all white outfit. It's just so coquette and it's perfect like for a little ballerina moment a little ballet outfit but even it, like if I added some pink bows to it, it would be so cute or I'm just thinking like with a pink 
satin maxi skirt or like midi skirt even just like a mini skirt would be so cute i also found this little miss selfridge like the fit was just not it so i ended up not getting that one the denim here was just such a miss i feel like the denim is either a hit or a miss in any of these thrift stores like the jeans specifically feel like eastern europeans they love their skinny jeans so you just see so many pairs then i found the most gorp core nike midi skirt it's this gorgeous slate gray i do not know why i left her behind i was just not in that shopping mood this is, uh, yeah, this was like the biggest mistake in my thrifting career. Look how sick that skirt is. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I was like convincing myself that I was going to go back there at the end of the day and like get all this stuff. And I was kind of like, okay, I'll come back later. Did not go back later. And now it's been a few weeks and I'm sure everything is gone. And I'm literally so upset, but I'm kind of also proud of myself because Thriftaholics 101, I'm making progress here, ladies and gentlemen, that was a breakthrough. If I was at home, automatically would have picked these up for the Depop. These are so sick. These are snowboarder ski pants, but they are so cute with the camo and the little baby pink detail. Oh my God. If I liked winter or winter sports, this this would be the fit for sure. Moving on to some leather jackets in the women's section. There wasn't anything that was like, oh my gosh, like I need her in my wardrobe. I did see a couple of these, which were pretty good, but in, upon further inspection, they were both faux leather. So I decided to pass. This little pink moment that I kind of skip over really quickly, uh, as I'm watching this back, I'm like, what was that? Because how it looks cute, Melissa. You are not on your game, obviously. Then I saw this leather jacket and it was really good for four euros, but it had a stain on it, like a little bit of like a, it looked like ink or something spilled on it and I'm like, I don't even want to get into that. I kind of like showing you guys the misses lately. Like I've been showing you guys things that like I've been putting back or like skipping over. And I'm like, you know what? This is good. This is good vibes. We don't have to get everything at the thrift store. We can, we can move forward. We can digress, but I'm obviously liking the white fluffy anything at the moment. <laughs> I also like this, but it was H&M and it was a little overpriced, so I passed. And I am this picky in these stores because there's such an abundance of sweaters and jackets, especially in these thrifts, that I am so picky and I'm like, I'm holding out for that A1 perfect find every time that I'm at the thrift. So if it's like not 100%, I feel like I'm going to leave it behind. Baby Pink has me in a complete chokehold right now. So this was one that I was really debating not leaving behind. This was also an interesting find. I actually love this watch detail, but it was 10 or 12 euros. Like anything that's name brand is a little bit overpriced at the thrift. Let's try on some of these coats. Okay, this one, I it was so good, but I convinced myself I'd find something at the Humana sale for one euro. So I didn't end up getting it. This one was also so cute. And like my dream coat, either this color or pink would have been perfect. But the inside just had too much wear that I left it behind, but I will be hunting for something similar. Good morning. What day is it? Are we too bright? Uh, hello, everybody. I don't know what's going on, but I do know that Humana is restocking today. So that's where we are headed. I've been doing so much shopping, including online shopping, which I never do online shopping. If you know, like I haven't bought retail in like a year almost. I think last December was the last time I, when I was in Lithuania, was the last time I like shopped at a mall or anything. But these are from ASOS. Look how fun. I look like an ant, like a bug, but not with this. This this is thrifted. This is thrifted. Everything else in my life is thrifted except accessory. I haven't shopped retail in over a year. Clothing, point blank, period. It's possible, but we're getting ready. I'm going to go, I'm going to put these. These are so good on. Look at, I literally have layers on top of layers on top of leggings because you just, that's what you got to do when you live here. We're in my closet. Love this sweater though. It's literally so good. Shit, this lighting is. But we're in my closet. I've been kind of like trying to clean it up a little bit. I've definitely been adding some really good pieces and I'm so excited about it. Like I feel like I've really just focused on my own. 
wardrobe this whole trip so far and it's been so nice i know this has really been only like one vlog but this has truthfully been like three weeks since i got sick and i've just been doing a lot of shopping at like the humana sale everything has been so cheap but now oh everything's kind of back to price the normal price point so i won't be like grabbing everything because i am definitely not trying to spend like $20 per piece on certain things unless I like absolutely love it but it's been super fun like the sale I'm so excited about the sale coming back again but I'm definitely so excited about the restock because then I get a full view of everything and I'm hoping there's like a fur coat because I'm definitely down to get like a fur coat I saw this amazing fur jacket faux fur coat at Zara I'll post a, po a photo up I didn't get it but like I've been thinking about it and I'm like I'm again like I have not shot fast fashion in like a year not that I'm completely against it I absolutely love this coat but I was like you know what I've almost been a year I know that I'll be able to find maybe something similar if not I might end up caving but we'll see but I'm just looking for some place to get my hair done I don't have a hair dryer like we're we're in the works of everything but my closet is definitely coming together we have so many fun good pieces and I'm so excited about it not the dizziness oh god low iron check i forgot that i was smart enough to pack my tripod it's a little bit janky but i think it got squished in my luggage i feel so i feel so thick because i have all of this like all these layers on and i'm like maybe i need to go to the gym but i just have so many layers on so yeah i have had such good luck in building my wardrobe so far and like i've spent like not a lot of money at all because everything was like one euro two euros three euros so that feels really good i don't know what i'm gonna find today i found this like really good bag too so so cute i do have a lot going on at the moment in terms of like fashion like what am i looking for at right now i don't know i've been finding just so many really great things for so cheap like i'm so obsessed look at this cutie i love the the bow on the sleeves too some of the stuff you probably would have seen in some of the tiktoks or some of the pre-filming that i showed previous the filming i showed previous to this i do have a little bit of cleaning to do in here you know what's really nice about closet is like i'm starting to like feel like i need this closet at home like i think that they probably sell this as like a pax wardrobe at home and i'm like i think i want this i think this is my next purchase like i really like the way this is like laid out so i might end up like purchasing saying a pax wardrobe or something like from ikea or like a closet system because i really really like this and i feel really organized so i might look into that when i get home i ended up buying like the sunglasses that i showed you and then i got this hat i've been so obsessed with hats recently this one i got at the, the humana here at thrift at the thrift here but i saw this and i had to have this on asos it's so cute i don't want to mess up my hair so i'm not going to try it on but then I also got a pair of shoes. I got these boots. I feel like these are kind of like everybody has these at this moment. But I stupidly ordered these like on a whim because I wanted to try. Like ASOS, it doesn't have duty when you're over here. But when you live, when I'm at home, like the duty is so expensive. So I wanted to like order some stuff. Then the next day I went to Humana and I found these <laughs> for literally one euro. I'm like, that is just the thrift gods telling me, bitch, you got greedy. These are actually a little bit small, so I might end up putting them on my Depop eventually anyways. I love the fit of these. I love the look of them, and they're so fun, especially for my boyfriend's games, so I wanted to get... I'm obsessed, and I can't wait to, to wear them. Okay, I'm going to continue cleaning, and then I will catch you guys. We're going to try a new coffee shop today, and we're going to go check out the Humana. Restock! Disregard the top portion, because this is my layering piece. But, like, look how good these boots are. And they're actually so comfortable too. Hello. So good. And I love these, these like pants as well. Like imagine just for like a night out every day. They're perfect. And they were one euro. I'm obsessed. Okay, I think I'm gonna go now. All right, girls, we made it to Humana Vintage. There's Humana and there's Humana Vintage. Humana Vintage, I would actually recommend over Humana because it's obviously curated. It's about the same prices as Value Village, and honestly, it's such a good curation. My eyes automatically went 
to the blue suede. Are we shocked? Are we shocked amongst the fur that my eyes went to the colorful piece? But I saw that and immediately I was like, it's coming home with me. I checked the price tag, only 20 euros. And for the most part, most of the coats during the restock are like 40 to 60, especially the furs. So I was like, this is meant for me. It is meant to be. It's meant for me. It's been here all day. I'm definitely taking this home. This black leather was also so good, but I really had to pay. I really have to pace myself. I'm also looking for like a perfect trench coat. This one was next level and it was something else that I was like, okay, maybe this should come home with me, but I passed. But now looking back at it, I'm like, okay, maybe I should have gotten that. The furs here are something else. They are unbelievable. I did not end up getting one. I'm not too sure that I will, but here is the jacket tried on. And it, honestly, this bag was also so good, but I was budgeting today. I was like, you know what? You got to save for the sale. It's going to come. You'll find some good things during the sale too. So I was really trying to like pace myself, especially with there being three stores. I was like, Mel, chill out, chill out. They also had some really good sweaters but I'm gonna wait for the sale for that and I also find a lot at the just regular Humana so I will probably I think they're probably half the price there so I will kind of look out for those I did end up getting this gorgeous dress though it reminded me of trip NYC but it's a gorgeous European brand and it absolutely fits me perfectly I just love the corset at the top and then it, it goes into this like fit and flare bubble moment I thought it would be so perfect for like a little thrift event and honestly it fits me so good so I picked her up the one thing I regret not getting so much is this gorgeous leather patchwork mohair jacket or it's like a cardigan more so what was I thinking I wasn't thinking clearly because it's so perfect and I'm so upset that I don't have it I'm not the owner and then I saw a girl pick it up after I put it down and I literally cried because I was like I'm just trying to film things please I have to pick them up later but you snooze you lose you snooze you lose I'm on the hunt for red Red, I love red. It goes so good with my blonde hair too. I know I've had some comments about the real fur, but I just want to say that it's actually ethically better to wear the fur. Vintage fur, I would like to point out. 40, 50, 60 year old fur is perfectly ethically fine to wear. Appreciating the fur, loving the fur, taking care of the fur is actually more respectful to the animal than just simply throwing all of these jackets out. And actually promoting the use of vintage fur will help to stop companies from producing unnecessary new furs because we're, we don't like that. We don't want new fur. We want vintage fur. But let's go have a little coffee break in between these stores. I tried the uh, matcha cookie at Calve. Everybody, Calve, best coffee in Riga, hands down. It's like one of the only ones that I've tried so far. But I've tried a lot of coffee here. Okay, let's be real. Everywhere I go, I try a coffee. This one has definitely been the best. The matcha cookie, it's so good. Here in Riga, you have to check it out. There's two locations I think. And this was cute, it's cute inside. Another Humana Vintage restock. I'm not sure why I pulled out this purple skirt because I genuinely do not like it. Moving on though, I think this one's my favorite location. Truthfully could not tell you which location it is, but there's three in Latvia. First skirt, taffeta, of course. Are we shocked? It was the first thing that caught my eyes, this like layered taffeta navy blue skirt. Absolutely also fell in love with this color and the little floral detail on this one. I think this is gorgeous. I'm not sure if I said this yet, but in regards to price points it's about the same as value village the only difference is that once a month all of their stores go down to like five four three two and then on the last day like 50 euro cents 50 cents euros how do you say that anyways i was going through the skirts and i did find some really good ones and then i came across this insane find drum roll please it is this marlboro skirt like the tobacco company upon further inspection i did some research online and i didn't find many out there but they are selling for 80 to 150 dollars all the fur coats my eyes will always gravitate toward the color the print the pattern and this blue navy caught my eye it is bow season this would have been so cute for like a little holiday party but honestly i think it would be cuter just wearing it as an everyday jacket like not like an everyday it's gonna keep you warm but an everyday like it's gonna be so cute and i feel like the girlies are loving the bows recently actually i don't feel like 
like the girls have been loving bows. I know the girlies have been loving bows. If you're on TikTok, you know the girlies have been loving the bows. Blazer section also goes so hard in these vintage stores or in the Humanas and the thrifts here. And it's one that I've been typically skipping over at home. But here I have to check through because they seriously have some gems. I need you guys to hold your breath for this one. This dress, I I saw it. I Yes. That's just the feeling that I have. That That's the feeling that I have. I have no words. I cannot speak. It is so good. Oh. Like, that's, that's the feeling. I think I have picked up more pants <laughs> in Latvia that I've been here for the last few weeks than I have in the whole entire last year. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but like to add to my own personal wardrobe. This coat was just giving me sunshine on a rainy day. Like imagine how happy you would be to put this on when you live in negative 10 degrees. I'm genuinely not against having a colorful coat as an everyday jacket. I saw this and I thought this would have been the perfect everyday jacket. The quilted pink sheen, the everything in between. Green eggs and ham, Sam I am. You can never go wrong with an Afghan coat i really thought i was like you know what this could also be the one not to compare men to coats but this whole entire experience started to make me dive deep into thinking picking a coat is like picking a man some look perfect you're like this is my dream coat but then you put it on and it just doesn't fit right others look a little wonky on the rack but you give it a shot and it's your dream coat that's enough philosophy for the day we're diving into the sweaters if you're new here if you're not new here you should know or maybe you don't know, a stripe, me, a stripe, always. But on a real note, they have so many good knits here that it genuinely makes it so hard to choose which one that you actually want. And I end up coming on with none most of the time because I'm like, I don't even know. And they're so chunky that I have to find the perfect one because it's coming home in my suitcase and I might have to pay an extra $50 if it's a little overweight. Unfortunately, that is literally one of the tests that the sweater has to pass if I'm gonna bring it home. It has to pass the weight test. Like it has to be light enough so I feel like I can squish it down even if I end up shipping it home. I can either squish it down into a box and make it not overly heavy in shipping wise. Like you're telling me I wouldn't have gotten this one if I was at home? Absolutely, look at this. Oh, oh, wait. Why did I not get that? That was literally the sound of real hurt in my voice because I'm like thinking about that gorgeous sweater. It is a little bit unfortunate that I'm always here in the winter time and I never make it a summer trip. Simply because I'd be so down to pick more tank tops up to bring home. They do have a few in store, but the selection is limited. I'm pretty sure it's just because it's winter. So they put more winter stuff out, obviously. But the more tank tops would have been better just simply because it would make my suitcase a lot lighter. They did definitely have a few interesting corsets, but I feel like they might be one of the first things to go because they are so limited here. I do love the blouses here and you can get some for really good prices, especially during the sale. I love a good wrap blouse. Like this is something that I would rock on a night out here for sure. I'm sure there's a few millennials here that used to remember wearing business casual. Out to the club from like 2008 to like 2015. I went to university around the end of that era. Got a little glimpse of that era. Like I strictly remember wearing a pencil skirt going out to the club. And then immediately the next year we were wearing sneakers. And and I feel like sneakers had their moment for so many years. And now I feel like we're going to revert back. To not necessarily the same type of business casual. But like a more elevated version of that. Since being here, I've picked up eight red pieces. I'm not even kidding you. It's having its moment. But I end up trying on a couple things, including this top for you guys. We'll get into that in a second. I do love their long sleeve tops here. Not sure, but I don't think a lot of the Latvians love the early 2000s pieces as much. So I feel like those are left behind a lot for me. I did find this army print top, which I actually love. And I love the tag. It says anti-flirt. I do kind of hope to wait for the sale to pick up some of these tops, either for my Depop or for myself because I like to grab the tops when it's like three three euros two euros definitely more doable and when you're thinking like sale everything's picked over no like the the stores are still stocked I didn't end up showing you guys the pair of boots that I ended up getting at I think it was one of the other Humana vintages but they're like these fur boots so I ended up getting those and I was like okay one pair of boots is enough for the day obviously gravitating toward the red and black bag because that's the color combination I've been wearing the most I also did end up picking this up how fun is gorge 
It's the first little thing that I found when I walked in here. It's so pretty. I love this, like with like a little black bag. I think this is so cute. Not typically something that I would go toward. Well, maybe. I love it. I don't. I love the color. I think it's too big for me. I need to talk myself out of it because I do not need another color. I need to pace myself, but the color is gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. It's so cute. I don't know if it's like too cropped though, but I love her. It's a nice little vintage piece. Maybe I should get it for my Depop because I'm trying to get some cool things for my Depop too. I just love the shimmer. This cardigan is serious. Look how gorgeous the colors, the knit. So really stunning. It's so long. But there's zero chance I can get this out. It's so heavy. But I wanted to try it on for you guys. My compromise is the scarf. <laughs> we already got one coat today. We're cut off. The luggage is already gonna be. I don't even wanna know. The top is topping. I actually love it. It's like see through. I can't get it. But I want it. But I can't get it. But I want it. We'll see. How much is it? Honestly, I've tried on 12. I can't make a decision, so I think I need to just go. And we'll come back. I would fully trade him in for one of these. I say we just drop the cabin. Every Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Every Christmas, honey morning everybody we're gonna go check out a new coffee shop not a new coffee new to me to me it's called better bread it's in riga i'm so excited i got ready look at my little my little horse hooves i could not be more obsessed with my outfit it's so fun okay We found a different thrift store. It's called DGS. Shout out to the girlies for putting me on to the small thrift stores here. First of all, it's huge. Oh, I feel at home here. Okay, look at this gorgeous coat. They have so many and all the furs. There's so many furs, even like behind the counter too. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, but what's catching me on my eye is this little blue bag. I like this color so much. I'm obviously so into blue right now. I really like this color. I feel like this is such a vibe. I don't know. What do you think? vintage blue skirt I like this 
They always have such good denim skirts too. Also kind of cool. This looks like Desidual. I don't even know if that's how you say the, the brand, but oh, is this possible? <laughs> and this is like every thrift store here too. I really like this. This like leopard print. I don't know what I'm looking for necessarily. Like in a fur coat. There's so many that I have lots of options. This one is 35 euros. She's definitely a moment. This one here, it's only 18 euros. They do have a bunch that are like 18 euros. This is so good. I need to ship home a freaking massive box of furs. Super, super good. Oh my God, I would be so stupid to leave this behind. I am obsessed. Are you joking me? There's literally more on the other side, like, I do have a couple at home, like I have one long one in this pattern, which is crazy because they have them for like 170 euros here. And I have one at home, and then I have one similar to this. Oh, I like this though, but like long, like this pattern, but long. Ooh, this one's good too. Ooh. I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind. I do also like this kind of color too. Like, there's a bunch that are just 18 euros. How do I not to get an 18 euro one? 14 euros. So good, perfect oversized fit. I do love the leopard print one though. So, I just see this little kind of denim vest, which would be kind of a vibe, but I'm not sure I necessarily need it. Indefinite need, yes. We do always have such good sneakers for so cheap here. This is so pretty, oh my God, wait, I see something. I literally hope these fit me. I love a good stripe. And blue right now, blue and red. And they're together, I love. The quality of these shirts just feels so good. Ooh, stop it. This is so good. Oh my God, I love the big belt. The big chunky belt. M for Melissa, that's kind of a vibe. This is old Pimkey too, I love old Pimkey. This is gorgeous. It is a little bit more pricey though, but it is stunning and I think it's cashmere. Yeah, they have a whole section of like cashmere and they all feel so nice. I love this color. There's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a difficult day here. I do just want like a leopard print shirt but i think prefer this is zara i would love for it to be vintage but i don't know i actually like this one this little madonna new luxury red off the shoulder top kind of good i love the pattern of these little olsen they always have the best patterns but this one looks a little bit too big for me, but I actually love this one in the pattern. This is kind of cool. The coquette girlies would eat these up. Everything feels so small. Those other boots that I showed you were size six. These also look so small, but they're so fun. Gasps. Look how stunning. Oh my god, the detail. This is gorgeous. Oh my god, Cinderella dream moment. Oh. Another little cutie. I guess this is like their um, like dinner wear. Anything fancy. Sparkles. I love finding the like vintage Madonna pieces. Look at this. Absolutely. It's like sheer vintage. Yes. Okay. 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 This is a top. It's in the dress section. 
Ugh, the baby pink gets me every time, but I love a big like belt accent. Then I just see what is going on here, madams. Oh, hello. I'm pretty sure this is a skirt vintage. Yes, how many times can I say that in a video? Then take a shot every time Melissa says vintage. Me. This being orange is throwing me off a little bit, but I actually love a good fishnet anything. Ooh. Yes, mamas. A little bit pricey, a little bit pricey. These are, so I see some more. I see some more stuff. Some more fuzz. So what? Are you kidding me? These are sick. These are so sick. Oh my gosh. I need to try these on. Immediate. Found this top, which I absolutely love. I love anything structured right now, so I'm not shocked that I love it. I need to try these on. This is getting a little bit concerning, but place is kind of a vibe like nobody's bothering me nobody's asking questions nobody's following me around um we're in trouble we are in are you kidding me i think i'm gonna get this one for depop i feel like this is a good afghan coat maybe for myself it's a little bit big though so, I don't know. Another absolute sleigh pair of shoes. These are so good. I love the little detail of red. So cute. <laughs> I'm trying, like, this is my 30th fur coat. Are you joking? It's so good. How do you decide? They do have a pretty big lingerie section as well. They have some cute little bits here. They do have a pretty big selection, but nothing that I'm like, okay, I need it. I don't think. Actually, I really like this olive green. Too big for me. I don't got the titties to fill that. But like some good, like this little cute school girl moment i actually like this one a lot but so cute the lace moment a couple other good little pieces but nothing that i'm like i need it good for resale but these are too small but they're so cute maybe i should get them for my depop I'm being picky. I'm being so picky with what I'm gonna end up bringing home. So sick, but I'm scared because they are cracking. So I don't want the soles to fall off. But they're so cool. Oh my god. They are 14 euros. Like, that's a little bit expensive because they are cracking everywhere. So I don't know. They're a vibe though. I might leave them. If I think I need them, I'll come back. Someone talk me out of the jacket right now i just want like a good basic trench and i really like this one i don't know maybe i do want it longer though but i really like this one it's just by h&m this 18 euros sorry i feel like i can definitely find one at the bins when i get home but like yeah i don't need it this full leather jumpsuit is so sick i wonder how much they have it priced for or if it's for sale at all. It's really so cool. Me, taffeta. Ugh, this dress. It's only four euros. The lay. I missed this when I walked in. Where did the, this come from? It is gorgeous. It's like maroon. Oh, there's so many good ones to choose from.